How do you, you see this game then? I suppose on paper it's competitive. Has it still got a bit of a pre-season feel or is it? No, I don't think it has actually. Um, I think it's a competitive game and I think we've got our heads around that. Um, I think it's early for a competitive game. Um, you know, we're, you, you know they're, they're the same, I suppose. We're putting out a team that it'll be their first, you know, putting their toe in the water as a, as a, as a new team, really, with three or four new bodies um, and going straight into a competitive game. I would have preferred, I think, to have played uh, the others before we got to Rangers and Rangers being the last in the sequence. But, you know, this is the way it is for both of us and... Uh, um, we just got to embrace it, but no, I don't. I don't think in any shape or form uh, we're thinking about it as a pre-season friendly. No. Rangers having only played one friendly, is what are you expecting them to treat it that way? Or? No, not at all. Not at all. I think that um, uh, they they will see the League Cup as an important um, part of their season. Um, I think that they have only had one game, but, you know, I, I've had the thought, we're talking this out there, I've had the thought in pre-season before about not playing a lot of games because, you know, they, they, what the games do is they, they interfere a little bit with your ability to, you know, physically work the players, you know, so too many games and you've got to ease back on the running and you, you don't get up to the levels that you want to get to. So um, I can understand what they've done. Um, so... You know, one game, I think, is irrelevant. I think they'll be as ready as we are at this stage. Although it was just a friendly, have you had a positive week trying to fix some of the things you weren't happy with? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've looked at that again and we've dug in to see what was going on and we've discovered, you know, there was a lot going on that wasn't the usual way that we do things, both as individuals and as a, as a group, defensively particular. Um, but there were things that when we saw it, we thought, actually, it's, it's not too difficult to fix. You know, there's there's some fundamental things there that we um, that we do as a group and we did last season that made us at times very difficult to beat, gave us a chance of winning games and those things weren't in place on Saturday. And it was a combination of new players, some players maybe not playing as well as they can and, a, and, a, and of information I gave them with regards to encouraging them, you know, particularly the full-backs up the pitch and leaving themselves a little bit exposed. So, you know, I take responsibility or some of the responsibility for that as well. So, yeah, we've got together and we've put that right and hopefully we'll be a lot, lot better and sat a lot tighter on Saturday. Mark, some of the, the uh, I mean, I think that would be a sensible option. Um, I don't, I don't th see that it, what harm it does to you know have a couple more uh, substitutions. Um, sometimes you've got to be careful with pre-season games that you know the games can come a, a bit shambolic because of too many changes. You know, so um, you know maybe a couple more wouldn't do any harm. But you know it's a bit late for that now. But maybe next season. Yeah. How is your squad building going? Are you looking for another midfielder? Uh, not, not really. You know, I, I think people have to understand that financially, you know, that we are probably at our limit, and uh, you know, we're not free spending. You know, so we, we've probably done our money, as it were, and uh, unless any changes in that, then we've probably done as much as we can do, and we're now working with what we have. When you look at how successful you were after you came in last season, second half of the season, is it a case of? So more of the same, or are there certain areas you look at where you want big change? I know you made changes to your squad, but in terms of the way you play, is there certain areas you look at? Not really. I think that was that was one of the issues on Saturday and uh, Sunday at uh, Hibs. You know, in a sense, I did that. You know, I asked them to play in a different way, um, partly just to to see if we could enjoy that and see if we could express ourselves a bit more. Um, and it didn't work for us, you know. So in a sense, it's, it's a reminder that we played the way we did last season. Um, a lot of aspects of it really worked for us and those good aspects of it we've got to employ again and uh, make sure that we're hard to beat, make sure that we give ourselves still a chance of getting up the pitch and, and, and scoring goals and punching back You know when we're under pressure um, and, and we know how we did that last year and uh, we'll be working hard between now and the Kilmarnock game to make sure that we, we know how we did that and it's back in place for this season. So no, we're not suddenly become. You know, the fact that we've made changes to the squad, it's not just a kind of development thing, it's a start again thing. You know what I mean? It's different if you've just got the same squad and you, you, you develop it and you, you get better and better at what you're doing. We're kind of starting again, seeing where we are, and then more or less do the same as we did last year when I came in, is make sure it's right, you know? Looking at the 
looking at this weekend, um, I mean, this will be the first time that Rangers have visited here since the the controversial playoff final two years ago. As far as you're concerned, is all that stuff between the two clubs some in the past now? Yeah, I think that um, you know it should be. I think that you know as a club. You know, we've supported uh, Rangers' cause all along, you know, going back to when they went out of the league. I think that the people at that time uh, were some of the people who supported, you know, a positive, you know, aspect for Rangers. Um, I think that we are a club that welcome Rangers big time back into the the league. Um, as a competition, I think it's better off for Rangers, you know. So I think there need be no kind of uh, f bad feeling about that. You know, it was a it, playoff games are emotional, you know, and uh, when you, when you're the team that's um, that's managed to survive, of course you're euphoric, and when you, you're the team that don't, you're, you're going to be despondent. And I think that's all that happened that day. But that's in the past. And uh, you know, I think Rangers can look forward again to a big future in the Premier League. Is the result of maybe Rangers fans boycotting away games this season? Is that the kind of thing Scottish football should be looking to kind of leave behind and, and move on from? I, I, well, I've not actually heard that. I don't know anything about that. But I mean, that seems a shame, you know, because one of the things that you know we'd be looking forward to is welcoming, you know, you know, away supporters here. You know, it's one of the things that make that makes an atmosphere here. You know, if, if you get no one from the away support here, you know. Our own fans can become complacent, you know. But when they're challenged by, you know, a, a fantastic support like Rangers, you know, are and bring, then uh, it gets our fans on their feet and it gets them competitive. So we need that. I mean, we need the support of our own fans. But sometimes it comes from not just our performance, but from you know the challenge that the away support brings. So I'd be very disappointed if Rangers uh, boycott games because I think everywhere um, we, we'd welcome them with, uh, you know, for, for for the atmosphere. Yeah. How frustrating is the injury situation with Louis? Yeah, you know, worry. You know, we we're going to dig a bit deeper and find out what's going on because he's he's been checked and uh, we didn't find anything, but he's still got symptoms. You know, so we we have to um, find out what's going on there. Yeah. I mean, especially a guy who contributed so much. Yeah, season. absolutely. And you know, I'm looking back now, and I, I thought he would have pushed on. You know, with eight or ten games to go, I thought Louis would ended up with maybe even 25 goals. You know, but. Um, he, he, he didn't, and uh, at the time I was a bit disappointed for him. I was a bit disappointed at times in him, and uh, I, I'm now convinced that there was something going on back then that you know just took that edge off him. But if we can get him fixed, we know he's got 20 goals in him.